Hello interwebs and thanks for tuning in to the official WOW Insider Weekly Recap. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be bringing you my favorite stories from WOWinsider.com for the week of October 20th, 2012. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, remember to read it thumbs up. Today, Blizzard featured an amazing Sylvanas cosplay on their Community Cosplay Spotlight. Created by Vea Novenario, this Sylvanas Windrider costume is not only extremely detailed, but it's also very, very accurate. Congratulations to Vea on the spotlight, and we look forward to seeing more featured cosplays in the future. As many of you know, Patch 5.1 is coming very soon, and I do plan on doing a video outlining all of the major changes of this patch. But in the meantime, WoW Insider has a few really awesome tidbits for you. First up, in patch 5.1 on Korean realms, 10 and 25 man raids will no longer share a lockout. 25 man raids will have better loot than 10 man raids and it'll be kind of like it was before they merged them together. There's no word yet on whether this is going to spread outside of Korean realms. Also coming in patch 5.1 is an awesome new flying mount called the Swift Windsteed. The Swift Windsteed is kind of like an elfy goat thing that rides on a cloud. It comes in four different colors and it's pretty cool, being that I'm a mount collector, of course I want it. There's a pretty good possibility that this mount does come from the Blizzard store, although it's available in four different colors and that hasn't been anything we've seen in the Blizzard store before, so we can't be too sure. In patch 5.1, we'll also see the addition of 12 new companion pets being added to vanilla raids. There'll be three pets dropping from each raid, Naxxramas, AQ, Molten Core, and Blackwing Lair. Knowing a lot of you are saying, well, Naxxramas is level 80 now, and what Blizzard's saying to you is, well, level 90s can solo it. Deal with it. Probably the best pet of the lot is Kel'Thuzad's cat, Mr. Bigglesworth. If you're interested in trying out all the changes of patch 5.1 before it's actually released on live servers, you can now create a level 90 template character on the PTR. For more information and to download the client for the PTR, check out your battle.net account. At New York Comic Con this week, we learned about a new World of Warcraft novel coming out that's going to feature Vol'jin, who is the chief of the Darkspear Trolls. Being that Vol'jin is a prime candidate to take over the Horde once Garrosh is inevitably dethroned, this book should prove particularly compelling for those interested in World of Warcraft lore. The book is going to be called The Shadows of the Horde and is set to release in April of 2013. Last up this week, for those of you still trying to convince your friends to play WoW with you, pass it on to them that this week only, the Battle Chest is on sale for $5. The Battle Chest includes Vanilla, Burning Crusade, and Wrath of the Lich King. For more information on how you can take advantage of this deal, or for more information about anything that I talked about today, check out the links in the info below. And that brings us to this week's breakfast topic. On October 24th, WoW Insider asked, what is your favorite World of Warcraft in-game holiday? For me, I would say it's Hollow's End, which is why I thought it was appropriate to ask this question this week. But what about you guys? What is your favorite World of Warcraft in-game holiday? Let me know in the comments section below, and while you think about your answer, check out some answers to last week's question. much for tuning into the WoW Insider Weekly Review. My name's Panzer and my YouTube channel is Trade Chat. If you enjoyed the video, please comment and thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you guys are all having a great week and I will see you next Friday. I love you all. You're in my hearts. I'll see you soon. Bye!